Amidst a world enshrouded in chaos, lurking in the shadows of tyranny, there lay a curious tale of hunger. A hunger not for power, but for purity. Yet one of history's darkest figures is depicted in an ironic painting. Not in the carnivorous shades of red meat, but in the green of the earth. Welcome back to the culinary timeline where today we will explore the paradoxical tale of Hitler's stomach-churning hunger, the Fuhrer's fascination with vegetarianism. In the annals of history, few figures evoke such polarizing reactions as Adolf Hitler, who as we all know was famous for his totalitarian regime and atrocities committed during World War II. Yet some aspects of his life remain shrouded in mystery, and one such facet were his peculiar dietary habits. Today we will delve into Hitler's unlikely fascination with vegetarianism. So, history enthusiasts, let's embark on a journey into the culinary curiosities of one of history's most infamous figures. Join us as we uncover the truth behind Hitler's dietary choices and the impact they had on his life and legacy. But before that, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do click that subscribe button and join us on every historical adventure into the past's plates and palettes. Flavor your curiosity by watching our previous episodes featuring the lavish banquets of emperors, the peculiar palettes of presidents, and other fascinating culinary tales. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss our updates from the fascinating corners of history. Now, gather your appetite for adventure and stay with us until the end. You'll be amazed at the secrets we're about to unravel, so make sure you watch until the very last bite. This episode will not only satisfy your hunger for knowledge, but also come with a side of surprise that you won't want to miss. So, let's lift the lid on Hitler's mysterious dining habits. Imagine being transported back to the 1930s and stepping inside the fortified walls of the Reich Chancellery Kitchen. The room is buzzing with silent anticipation as chefs prepare a unique display of vegetables for none other than Adolf Hitler, the most fascinating dictator in German history. Rather than the well-known German delicacies of rich meats and sausages, the chefs are focusing on a more austere menu for their infamous leader. Adolf Hitler, a name synonymous with brutality, cruelty and war, carried an enigma when it came to his diet. It may come as a surprise to many that his doctors prescribed a meat-free philosophy for him. Despite the Fuhrer once enjoying liver dumplings and ham, he gradually proclaimed himself a staunch vegetarian. One might question whether Hitler's choice to be a vegetarian was motivated by compassion for animals as his secretary Traudel Junger suggested, or if there was another shade to his dietary preference. It may seem confusing that on the one hand, a man is incapable of enduring the slaughter of animals, but on the other is a warlord whose decisions led to unspeakable human atrocities. Well, in the whispered words of his sole surviving food taster, Hitler remained a dedicated vegetarian in the confines of his wolf's lair. His diet consisted primarily of specially prepared legumes, fresh fruits and vegetables, grains and dairy products. He was particularly fond of dishes like stuffed peppers, mashed potatoes, creamy soups and vegetable stews. It's widely claimed that Adolf Hitler's interest in vegetarianism wasn't just a passing phase, but it was a core tenet of his belief system. Despite the atrocities he committed, his dedication to a meat-free diet offers a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of this unique character. But what led Hitler to embrace vegetarianism? Some historians speculate it was influenced by his health concerns, while others suggest it was rooted in his desire for moral purity. Whatever the reason, Hitler's vegetarianism was very well documented and he reportedly abstained from meat for the majority of his adult life. Alright history buffs, it's time to unearth the Fuhrer's favourite go-to dish which was a simple yet enigmatic staple known as Pfannkuchen. Essentially German pancakes, but with a vegetarian twist. Fully laden with toppings from rich orchard-picked components to a drizzle of golden honey. Frequently paired alongside it was Ereschwammel, delicate chanterelles harvested from Bavarian forests, lightly sautéed with onions and herbs, their golden hue mirroring lost innocence. Egg dumplings, also known as Ehrnockel, were another recipe favoured by the famous dictator. Primarily prepared by beating eggs in a bowl and adding enough flour to make a thick batter. Seasoned with a pinch of nutmeg and salt to taste, a pot of salted water was brought to the boil and the batter pressed through a spatula maker or a colander with large holes was used to scrape the batter into the boiling water. Once the dumplings would float to the surface, they would cook for an additional one to two minutes. Finally, the dumplings were drained and tossed in butter before serving. Simple, yet delicious sounding. 
There are some authors who associate Lieberklöße, liver dumplings, with Hitler's menu. It is said to have been one of his favorite dishes reflecting his culinary inclination towards savory food. The recipe for this dish is simple and unique. First, puree the liver in a food processor until smooth. Then mix the pureed liver with bread, onion, parsley, salt and pepper in a bowl. Add eggs to bind the mixture and if needed, add a little bit of flour to get a shapeable consistency. Using wet hands, form the mixture into dumplings. Drop the dumplings into simmering salted water and cook for about 10 minutes or until they're cooked through. You can serve the dumplings hot as a soup garnish or with sauce. It's definitely an amazing and tasteful recipe. It's important to note that Hitler's diet changed over time and there is some discussion about the extent of his vegetarianism. According to the favoritefood.com blog, Hitler was reported to have had a particular fondness for the dish Lieberklöße during his reign. Hitler was also said to have enjoyed a simple soup made with mixed vegetables, like carrots, celery and potatoes, cooked in vegetable stock with minced onion, garlic and bay leaves and seasoned with salt and pepper as well as a vegetarian version of stuffed bell peppers, often mixed with sautéed vegetables accompanied by a side of rice and tomato sauce for moisture, and seasoned with salt and pepper to taste. According to some of the cooks who worked in the kitchens during the Nazi era, both of these recipes were frequently enjoyed by the dictator. Now, did you know that Adolf Hitler also had a sweet tooth? According to a report by History.com, the infamous dictator had an obsession for sweets and was particularly fond of them. That's right, this psychopathic dictator apparently had a weakness for sugary treats. Hitler liked chocolate biscuits and cream scones. He could easily eat two pounds, almost a kilogram, of chocolate pralines a day. But his favorite desserts were strudel and eclairs decorated with little schwastikas. Hitler's cook at the time, Constanze Manziali, claimed, I bake a lot every day, often for hours, but in the evening, everything is always gone. Every evening, his servants had to leave an apple cake strewn with raisins and nuts next to his bed so he could eat it during the night. The servants nicknamed the cake the Führer cake. Apparently, Hitler was known for staying awake during the night and then sleeping until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You'll be shocked to discover, but according to some reports, Hitler supposedly ate a cake just hours before he committed suicide in his bunker in Berlin, where he shot himself on April 30th, 1945. As per independent.co.uk, Hitler was a vegetarian and by the end of his life he only ate mashed potatoes and broth. It was also reported that Hitler was so paranoid about being poisoned by his food that he had a team of 15 food tasters. Only if none of them dropped dead after 45 minutes would the dictator eat. Let's take a moment to consider whether Hitler's decision stemmed from health concerns or a deeper psychological desire for control, purity and projecting personal discipline during a time when humanity was needed the most. Despite his strict regimen, Hitler was known to indulge in occasional lapses, especially during lavish banquets. However, his commitment to vegetarianism remained steadfast throughout his reign. It's fascinating to consider the dichotomy between Hitler's public persona as a ruthless dictator and his private life as a vegetarian. Perhaps it serves as a reminder that even the most complex figures are composed of layers beyond our understanding. Hitler's vegetarianism wasn't just a matter of personal preference, but it was intertwined with his ideology. By abstaining from meat, he sought to align himself with notions of purity and superiority. We can conclude here that Hitler's dietary choices offer a unique lens through which to examine his psyche. Whether viewed as a symbol of moral rectitude or a symptom of deeper pathology, one thing remains clear. His vegetarianism was an integral part of his identity. Indeed, as we reflect on Hitler's stomach-churning hunger, let us remember that history is not merely a series of events but a tapestry of individual choices and beliefs. Discover with us the clandestine corridors of history, taste the dichotomy of a tyrant's table, and ponder the questions that are left lingering like the aromas of a forgotten feast. If you've been fascinated by this tantalizing yet troubling voyage through the Führer's secret garden of vegetarianism, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more compelling chronicles. Delve deeper with us and make sure to join us next time as we continue our exploration of the enigmatic figures who shaped our world, and together, let's decipher the diets that defined and defied the legends of our past. Until then, gastronauts, stay curious. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more historical insights with our tremendously amazing culinary tales. And don't forget that the dishes of history often serve up more than meets the eye.